Million Little Things, Season 3, not essential, non essential. Um, so this was, this was somewhat a very interesting story, um, very interesting episode. I didn't really take a lot of notes, not gonna lie, I'm kind of going off the cuff on this one. Also, I was a little worried when I found out that they were putting COVID into this show. Just like I was worried when they decided to put COVID into This Is Us. But This Is Us has been working out fine so far. So, whatever, fine. Um, and and my, my worries came from the fact that, you know, most people watch shows to kind of, you know, escape, you know, reality. You know, and yet they're putting something that's so daunting to pretty much everyone in the world. But this episode, it, it handled it pretty well. Rome, pretty much, um, his whole movie just got shut down. Um, little by little, you know, he walks in, there's no table read. Um, you know, you have to sit there and try to rearrange stuff with the actress. And then he gets a call from, I guess, like, finance. And they're like, yo, we, we just, we're not going to take the chance in case the movie just gets shelved. So he wound up losing out on that. And it was important to him because he wanted to sit there and tell a story. So that hit him more than anything else. Um, Regina was also getting hit um, with an eviction notice. A lot of less people start coming in because of the virus and stuff like that. You find out later on in the episode, um, because at one point she was going to get evicted. But Captain talked to his lawyer that knew John. John, this, okay. So when John was on the phone for negotiations to try to negotiate Regina's building or, you know, her um, restaurant space, that was the other person I was on the phone. And so, you know, he wound up doing them a solid. It has something to do with the fact that a letter was supposed to be sent, but they never sent it. And long story short, you know, after Catherine told this guy why it was so important, and given the fact that he knew John, he wound up coming through for them. But, you know, Regina, moving forward with her restaurant, she's going to have to operate at 50%. And we all know, given what's going on with the fucking world, like how that's been affecting businesses, and people have still had the businesses closed, even with 50% capacity. So this should be really interesting moving forward. Um, Eddie, man, it's like everyone's getting hit left and right. Um, Eddie was supposed to go for his back surgery, but that got canceled. He was also supposed to go for a um, cortisone shot to help him with the pain. That got, you know, that got turned down because of COVID. Um, so, he tries to get a um, prescription on some sort of pain medication. And he couldn't get it. And he wound up flushing down some other medication. I'm not really too... Uh, I didn't really understood that because later on in the episode he wind up taking, um, I guess this like medication or whatever that you know he isn't supposed to take because you know he's an addict and stuff. He's a recovering addict, so he wasn't supposed to take it. But because his son has a play and he had a large amount of pain throughout most of the day, he couldn't just sit there and sit through like an hour or two hour play. So he wound up, you know going back on the medication and stuff like that for his son. And, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, it's a slippery soap because it starts. One second. Yeah, I'm still not really totally sure. Like, I know he doesn't want to take, like, I guess, like a certain type of main pain medication because, you know, he's a recovering addict. But long story short, he wound up taking it anyway. And like I was saying, um, you know, I guess that's a slippery slope. You know, he starts off taking his medication for the right reasons and later on down the line you know he's just taking it because so um 
Maggie's back. Um, she was supposed because she's out there living with that guy, whatever, and she was supposed to go for um, a checkup from a doctor for um, the cancer and stuff. And with COVID, she couldn't get an appointment out there, so she went up um, getting one back at Boston. So she takes the flight, and the guy, I don't know what the hell is going on with this story because. You know, she sniffed this thing that she doesn't want anything serious. And he's like, he doesn't want anything serious either. But then, like, when he hugs her, he hugs her like... Like, this is like a bye forever or something. So, I don't really understand what's going on with that. But, um... She wants to come back. Now, Delilah was supposed to come back. But, I guess her dad, um... Fell and, like, hurt his hip or something like that. So... She won't be back. So now you got this whole thing that's going on where um, Maggie is back. She doesn't have a place to stay. She's going to be going to a hotel. Meanwhile, you still have Gary there. You have Gary. You have... Um, ugh, I'm not going to lie. I kind of don't remember her name. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember... Darcy. Oh, my goodness. Um, Darcy this now it's just really awkward situation when you got your ex-girlfriend there and you have a new girl there and you snip their baby kid babysitting these kids. So it's just a mess. And um because Darcy is still having nightmares and stuff like that, um Greg Greg is that his name? Gary I said Greg. <laughs> Gary um, recommended a therapist for her, but what she didn't realize was the therapist that he recommended, he got that recommendation from Maggie, and the whole thing comes out, it's now, you know, he's kind of on the outs of her for a little bit, and it's just, just one giant fucking mess, but... Honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm not going to lie. They wound up just fixing it up towards the end anyway. So, it's like... <laughs> I don't know. It seemed like it was going to be... Like... She felt betrayed. You know? No one really knew about her nightmares except for Gary. And the fact of the matter was... She didn't really want anyone else knowing except for a therapist. So, now... She doesn't just have a... You know somebody else knowing, but it's also his ex-girlfriend knowing about her nightmares. So, it's... That was a whole thing that not gonna lie, got kind of soft in like 30 minutes, so... Um... <laughs> I was just talking to I'm not gonna lie, it almost seemed like it was no point of even talking about that, but it was a thing in it, so... Just kind of a quick thing. And, long story short... Maggie is pregnant. She went to go, um, you know, find out, you know, like about the cancer and stuff like that. And her doctor pulled her in to sit there and be like, well, before you even start winning of that, um, you're pregnant. So now we got this whole thing where it could possibly, I, I feel like it could possibly be that guy that she's staying with or it could be Gary. Mind you, that guy is there calling to find out what's going on. And she's probably going to be there for a while. She's going to be there for a while because the borders are closed because of COVID and traveling and stuff like that. So, you know, that's the thing. I feel like in some ways, COVID actually worked out for this show. And I don't... <laughs> I feel like it worked out for this show better than it did for This Is Us. Um, I'm like three episodes behind that, so I got to kind of catch up. But, um... It just seemed like it worked out a lot better because I don't know how the whole movie thing was going to be working out. Um, and Maggie being back, you know, not, not being able to go back to Europe or whatever the hell, like whatever she was going to, like not being able to go back kind of works out. And let's be honest, I was complaining for a while when Maggie was... In that apartment with that guy, because the only time you, you didn't see Maggie do or go anywhere else except that apartment with that guy. So I was just like, this, uh, this is so dumb and it's so unnecessary. So it was actually nice to actually have her back with the rest of the cast. 
Um, I don't know how that whole guy's going to play out. I don't know how that guy's going to sit there and play a whole role in this. But the fact of the matter is, she's pregnant, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing this guy again. Actually, to tell you the truth, I do like this guy. He does seem pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it works out. Um, pretty sure I'm missing a lot of stuff, but I didn't really take any notes. And I'm going to be honest, I wasn't even too sure about reviewing this show anymore. Um, given the fact that I do three reviews <laughs> three three reviews a day five days a week I was just like I don't, I just don't know and I do appreciate the people that have been watching you know and so that's why I decided to do it but yeah let me know let me know you know what honestly tell you the truth let me know here's the thing I'm still gonna be watching the show but let me know if this is something that you want to see um as far as reviews goes and, if so, any other reviews you would like me to review. Um, or anything you want, you want me to talk about as far as reviews and stuff. Because I'll probably be, you know, wind up doing it on Saturday or Sundays. Um, any extra reviews. <laughs> There's no way I was going to be able to do four reviews in one day. That's just not going to happen. But the weekends, well, the weekends are pretty open. So, um, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go... Thank you for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And I will catch you in the next video.